hello my people how are you doing welcome to another edition of no holds bad with it my name is itino how is everything going <laughs> it's been a day for me actually i did a video a while ago only to discover that my volume was mute so i had to quickly turn it to private so i'm um, you know repeating the video right now so today i want to talk maybe you have heard about a church that collapsed in nasaba on um on january 11th the name of the place is said to be o Okwanam. i hope i pronounced that well in nasaba delta state that uh, church happened to be long to pastor david ibiyome i hope you are familiar with him if you are not uh, let me quickly show you his picture okay this is this is pastor ibiyome this is pastor david ibiyome his equator, the equator of his church salvation ministry is in Podakot, but he has this branch, you know, one of his branches in um, Asaba that uh, we'll be talking about today. Uh, what we all heard was that, okay, the building, the church collapsed, but some fact has begun to, to come out, which necessitated my doing this video because when we come out to talk about how pastors behave how churches are run in nigeria and other african countries some of you a lot of you will be quick to say we are touching anointed <laughs> and if we if we continue this way a lot of ills that would have been avoided will not be avoided and one of those ills is the collapse of this church okay we gather that this church space was a rented uh, space the church rented it but over time the building had lost integrity meaning it was not fit to be used but the church continued to use it for what reason i don't know not only that the church continued to use it on this day that it collapsed it was said to be shaking the building was shaking and the pastor of that branch uh, i still try to find out what his name is but i have not been able to get his name he insisted that the congregation the congregants should be praying because according to him that shaking was a spiritual a demonic attack <laughs> and um people stayed there true to his words and they began to pray the the few people that didn't leave their brains back at home while coming to church ran out of the building and some of them were able to make videos that are now um that has gone viral on the social media i want you to look at one of them and when i come back we'll come and you know talk about it have a look
Okay, so you saw that this guy that was recording, did you, you heard him said, "Make we now come out." They were still there praying because their pastor said it was a demonic attack. That was why the building was shaking. Nigeria is a place where anything goes because there are no rules, nobody, no laws, so everybody does whatever they want. That's why anybody can put up any structure anywhere. Not only that, anybody can put structure anywhere. How about people that are using the structure? How about people that are that felt comfortable to be coming to this kind of building before before a building can be shaking? People you will have noticed a lot of defects. On the building, it did it, 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 a building will not collapse, and and um, it wouldn't have given some signs, but because people don't think, people are so they so lock up their brain because of religion in Nigeria, and meanwhile, they don't even know God. Because if you know God, this service was said to be okay. They were doing a uh, 21 day fasting, which a lot of churches uh, began fasting at the beginning of the year. Oh, fine, that's fantastic. Now they went for evening service to break their fast. See, you people cannot cannot turn God to liar. God doesn't lie, and you, by your behavior, cannot turn God to a liar. When you now say you go to church and this kind of thing happen, and then what will you what do you want people to be saying to God because of your own stupidity? I don't know what for all I can guess about the way church leaders behave in Nigeria. Who knows? Maybe this pastor has been complaining that hey where we are using complaining to their headquarters in port Harcourt, that okay where we're using in this place is not good we need another place they will not give the 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 branch money to rent to rent another place the people among themselves will still task themselves yeah somebody selling pure water the other one selling uh, granite the other one selling pepper all of them will still gather money together to pay for rent of the of, of, a, of the space they use for service so what if the, the pastor has been saying that this place wasn't good and nothing was coming forth from the headquarters even at that why will he when the building was said to be shaking why will he say it was a demonic attack the the failure of government in nigeria has has made people to has really affected the psyche of people such that social problems are now lumped with spiritual ones for instance someone that didn't even get admission until when he or she turn 2022 fine maybe the person will have done jumped a couple of time with the strike in schools and not everything let's say the person now graduate at 30 
And then for the next 10 years, he's looking for a job. And then you expect such person to put a woman in the house. And then they will say, oh, he's not married. How will he be married when he doesn't have a job? And then he will begin to go from one mountain to the other. And someone, the prophet, somebody will be telling him, oh, it's somebody in your father's house that is not allowing you to get married. It's, 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 it's. I mean, I wrote a story back then, working with the Guardian newspaper. I wrote a, a story there. Christ, I titled it Christ Nigeria PLC. Because the number of churches in Nigeria is, um, I don't know which other country has the volume of churches we have in Nigeria. Still, vices still rampant. We are still grappling with Boko Haram, uh, kidnappers, ritual killers, boys now that are plucking the eyes of their girlfriend. We are still grappling with that then this needless death now david Ibiome went to visit uh, some victims in the hospital children you know that are that were affected like i said th this is him this is this is this is him uh he went to visit visit some of you know some <laughs> visit them in the hospital and the sad thing now would be that they will be happy hey pastor came to visit us people are so foolish people are so they don't want to be responsible for themselves this man should be if it were a, 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 a country that they know what they are doing he should and the owner of that house should be should should should, should be should be to be sued and made to pay damages to people that th a lot of people died we don't know the figure yet because in nigeria no data ex really exists that's the building caving in and they were there praying this was it when it was still shaking and they were there you can see that there are additional additional something being there are fresh blocks being being molded on the building that building is not a, an old uh, it's not a new building but you can see that work is was going on there these are fresh blocks that are, that are there so how do you expect the weight of these fresh blocks to the the, the 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 one that was there before that was already working i'm not a i'm not an architect but common sense tells me that a, a the blood that were there before will have been weakened and this one you are putting new ones on top how will it not collapse so the owner of this building and the pastor who said they should be praying inside that in that inside the building while it was shaking they should be they should be held responsible and pastor david ibiyomi himself let me tell you this in 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 the, in this country in the area where i live there is there is limit to capacity of the capacity a building can take be it church or an event center for instance if the capacity of a church is 150 people for instance and or an event center anywhere and they be, and they see that more than 150 people converge in that building policemen will come and shut the service down yes Policemen will come and shut the service down or the event, whatever they are doing, even if it is wedding, whatever, they will shut it down. So that is why people send invitation. They want you to RSVP. You, you want to know who is who is coming. You don't just you don't just get crash on people's event. If you are not invited, you don't go there. But in Nigeria, 
all these people are, are semi demigods so nobody touches them now similar something happened with synagogue church where um the guest house within the church premises collapsed in 2014 nothing happened tv joshua woke up one day and said it was because a plane was flying low very low to the building <laughs> really that means every building every uh, high-rising building should have been uh, should have collapsed and then when the case was taken to court he would decide not to go to court and nobody arrested him for contact of court and the case maybe now that he's dead the case even when he was alive he wasn't going to court if you people are not doing something diabolic with churches collapsing then this must stop this must stop I don't understand why a building will be shaking. I want to read something to you. Now, the, the it was written, a church building in Delta State was vibrating and was about to collapse. The pastor instructed members to remain inside and pray to defeat the demonic attack. <laughs> those outside taking pictures were those that ran out like I said those who didn't leave their brains at all while many of them remained inside until the church collapsed on them with casualties what kind of faith is this you, you, you want to say you have faith by staying in there right thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God God cannot be mocked. Whatever you, human, I, human being, are supposed to do, God will not come down from heaven to do it. He has given us everything we need pertaining to life and godliness. That's what the scripture says. So if you continue to follow pastors like zombie, it's left to you. Look at all, look at you, innocent children. Maybe if their parents didn't hold them down there, they would have run out. Because a lot of children are even smarter than adults. If you don't stop, if, if you don't realize that you have a God that you have access to, that you don't need an intermediary between you and God. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a, your pastor. I'm a Christian. I have a pastor in my church. But hey, I have my brain too that one for, comes first so if you if a pastor if 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 if, if a building was about to collapse and your pastor says stay inside and you stayed inside then you are i don't know what i can call you and there's a stupid girl in that video who was who was reminding the guy that was recording yes i guess she's a i call her stupid because she is I call her. If not that this guy recorded this thing, we would have known anything. The social media is bringing a lot of things out. A lot. A lot. Maybe she's, I mean, I'm sure she'll be member, a member of that church, so she doesn't want to offend her pastor. The building are collapsing on all your other members, and you still feel you, you, your allegiance is to your pastor. If this kind of thing, if, 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 if there are no checks and balances in the way Nigeria is run, this kind of thing will continue to happen. And you, you are, your destiny is not in the hands of your pastor. Your destiny is in your hands. That's why we come out sometimes to create awareness. Stop, stop playing games with your lives. All in the name of religion. After you, know, you people don't even know that God. You still, you still behave like as if you don't know Him. If you, if you don't see God as your Father who talks to you, and you still think you need somebody, an intermediary between you and Him, then you are not a Christian. You are just a churchgoer, because the Bible tells me that when Christ died, 
the veil of the temple was rendered into two that means you have access to him why would you need i mean, i used i used to make an analogy you you went to to meet your uncle to go and help you collect your school fees from your father what will your uncle say the first question he will ask you is what happened what did you do to your father you say nothing then you say then go and ask him go and ask him yourself so why do you need somebody to talk to god on your behalf so guys let me know your thoughts the one the one that happened in tb joshua's church happened on september 12 2014 this is 2020 nothing came out of it over 100 people died including over 80 south africans and some other nationals everything died down like that now this one again they are, they are they don't even have the data here they are saying eight people ten people cash a lot of casualties let me know your thought what what is the way forward in nigeria how are what is your thought on the way people follow pastors in it like like zombies you know without thinking let me know your thoughts let me know let me know what to think about about this building collapse i will come your way again very soon i'm preparing a very hot hot um story on one of your pastors to in nigeria i'm going to treat it in a couple of days until i come your way very soon my name is my name is it's known be safe when you go to church go to church with your brain you have access to god we keep we will keep telling you people we will keep you know creating this awareness we will keep letting you know that you have access to god you don't need anybody to talk to god for you so take care of yourself i love you and be safe good night bye